I started off uh, in college wondering about whether I wanted to do social work or become a psychiatrist or law. And so I went to Columbia and I got my master's in social work there. I was there and I was helping individuals on a daily basis. And so while you can help an individual and that's really meaningful, but you the system is broken, you need to change the system. As a lawyer, I thought I would have a better chance of doing that. So I went to law school. I tried out various co-ops because I went to Northeastern and I had the opportunity to do so. And one of the ones that I landed in as a summer associate was um, at doing mass tort work at Robinson and Cole. And I just fell in love with it. The New England compounding litigation resulted from a massive contaminated steroid outbreak. People who were getting steroids ended up being injected directly in their spine with fungus. And as a result, over 70 people have died, over 750 have become pr critically ill, and thousands and thousands more live in fear that they could become ill. I was contacted initially by a lawyer out of Georgia who had a case that he wanted to bring here in Massachusetts to be co-counsel with him on the case. When I started getting into the details of it, I realized that we needed to do something quickly. I suggested we get some preservation orders immediately and get an inspection of the facility. I argued to Judge Curran that we should get ex parte orders without the defendants present to get a preservation of evidence and to get into the facility. I did not expect at all that they would be granted, but I thought it was worth a shot. He said, good luck, basically, and handed me the papers that he had signed. And so I had orders for inspection of the facility and I had orders for preservation of evidence and I was ecstatic. The next day we were removed and to federal court and those orders were very difficult to implement once we were in federal court because the defendants started to catch on. They were aware of what was going on and that's where the battle began. We were successful in terms of getting the inspection allowed and it was pretty horrific what we found. Part of it was my involvement early on in the inspection and in collecting the evidence that we needed to really truly nail New England compounding with this. I've been presenting on gender equity in the profession with trial lawyers and also um, in law schools. I think people care about the issue and I think people are starting to, to see the issue and that it's not just a woman's issue. This is an issue for men as well. You know, finding that career family balance um, requires participation from both genders. Being named Lawyers Weekly Lawyer of the Year is an incredible honor because it's highlighting the work that I do on behalf of victims out there. To be honored for just doing what I am passionate about and what I love and the work that many, many, many people do every day um, is pretty incredible. I'm hoping that I also will be inspiring other people and other women to keep up and keep going with this because you can make it and you can be here.